Goeiedag graad 6, ons gaan vandag so een bykie op die rooi planeet keier en kyk na die voertuie wat op Mars gebruik word. Eerstens, Mars word beskou as die rooi planeet. Tot en met vandag was daar nog nie een mens op die planeet nie. Die mens het al heel wat navorsing op die oppervlak van die Mars gedoen. Dit kry hulle recht dier voertuie wat op Mars geplaas word. En ja, hulle word ook van gepraat as Mars rovers. Nou Mars oppervlakte verskil van die van die aarde sin. Die wetenskapelikes moes goed beplan en bou aan hier die rovers. Daar het al drie rovers op Mars geland. Elk een het op verskillende dele geland. Elke rover het verskye kameras om die landingsgebied en die oppervlak te kan sien. Hier die rovers maak dit nou moendlik om die oppervlak te verken vanaf die aarde. Partij van hier die kameras word gebruik om hindernisse te vermaai, soos byvoorbeeld groot rotse. Die rovers beweeg oor die algemeen tot 100 meter per dag. Die rede is omdat hulle meer tyd spandeer om grond en rotsmonsters te neem om die inlichting weer terug aarde toe te stuur. Dier Mars rovers het ook verwarmers op hulle. Dit is om hulle batterij warm te hou. As jy mooi terugdink, sal jy onthou dat die heerlijke somertemperatuur is een warm minus 5 grade Celsius. Die eerste rover, Spirit, is vanaf 4 januari 2004 op Mars. Spirit het laat in 2009 vastgeval en die laaste communicatie was op 22 maart 2010. Die tweede een, Opportunity, is drie weke later op 25 januari 2004 op Mars aan die werk. Opportunity is tot en met vandag toe nog in werking. Dit is nou al oor die 11 jaar. Dit het nou al 45 keer meer terugvoering aan die aarde gegee as wat sy ontwerpte levensdier is. Die jongste rover op Mars is Curiosity. Nou Curiosity is al op Mars vanaf 26 november 2011. Dit maak om nog net 3 jaar en 11 maande in werking. Kom ons kyk gauw na een video van Curiosity. Hi, I'm Ashwin Vasavada, project scientist for the Mars Science Laboratory mission. And this is your special edition, third anniversary, Curiosity rover report. It's a summer of milestones for Mars exploration. 50 years ago, Mariner 4 became the first spacecraft to take close-up pictures of Mars. 39 years ago, the Viking 1 lander became the first spacecraft to successfully land on the red planet. And now, Curiosity celebrates three years on Mars, operating well over a thousand Martian days. Since its arrival in August 2012, Curiosity has driven nearly 11 kilometers from its landing site to the foot of Mount Sharp within Gale Crater. The first year was spent traversing through ancient stream beds and exploring Yellowknife Bay, the site of an ancient lake. That's where Curiosity drilled samples from the lake floor to reveal mineral evidence of long-lived fresh water. It also found carbon-containing organic molecules and nitrogen in a form usable to life. So, if life ever were present on Mars, a site like Yellowknife Bay could sustain it. Then Curiosity put the pedal to the metal to get to Mount Sharp. That's when engineers noticed excessive wear on the rover's wheels. A lot of work went into understanding the cause and how to avoid it. But now we're confident that the wheels can take us where we need to go. It's been quite a road trip. Curiosity drilled at the Kimberley, drove through long valleys, and took pictures of roadside geology before finally reaching the bedrock at the base of Mount Sharp. 
We spent several months studying these rocks at Pahrump Hills. The science team has been fascinated by all the signs of ancient water at Mount Sharp. It's likely that Gale Crater once hosted many rivers and lakes, carrying sediment to the crater floor that now forms the bottom layer of Mount Sharp. Now that we're climbing through the foothills of the mountain, the driving is challenging. The team relies on images from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to find safe paths to interesting geologic targets. Getting to the current rover location at Mariah's Pass required a steep climb up a six meter hill. As we climbed the hill, Curiosity's ChemCam laser spectrometer noticed unusually high amounts of silica in nearby rocks. What might that mean? Were the environmental conditions friendly or hazardous to life? Could the silica have preserved organic molecules in the rocks for us to study today? We're hoping to find out. None of this would be possible without the dedicated team of rover engineers here at JPL. Every day that we operate Curiosity, a downlink team studies the information sent by the rover and makes sure it's healthy and ready to proceed with the next activities. Then, an uplink team turns the desires of the scientists into sequences of command that can be safely executed by the rover. It's an intense process that takes about nine hours every day. So congratulations to the team and happy anniversary to Curiosity. Let's keep on going. This has been your Curiosity Rover Report. Please check back for more updates. It is daarom ongelooflik om te kan sien wat hulle alles kan reg kry sonder dat daar enigsins iemand al op Mars was. Die wetenskaplikes beplan om in 2020 die vierde rover op Mars neer te sit. Hierdie is dan ook ons laaste video oor ons reeks oor die sonnestelsel. Ek hoop jy dit net so interessant gevind soos ek. Tot ons volgende reeks weer begin.